Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to replace the starter rope in your recoil. So what I've got here is a recoil from a snowblower. The spring is still good in there. With the procedure I'm showing you right now, I'm assuming that the spring inside your recoil is still good. The first thing I'm going to do is pull out the rope right to the end. Now since this recoil has holes in it, I'm just going to lock it up with a screwdriver. It's best to align the end of the rope here on the rotor to the output hole. Pull on the rope a bit. Make sure that screwdriver is keeping the rope rotor locked. Pull out your rope. Now on this specific starter that goes on a Tecumseh snowblower engine, the rope is 67 inches long. And I'm using a number 4.5 rope. And also make sure to remove the rope from the handle. And I like to melt the end of the rope just so that it doesn't fray. And I use a torch for that. Make sure you wear gloves because it is quite hot. Now it's nice and smooth and the rope won't fall apart. The next step is to insert the rope in the handle. Tie a good knot. Get it in the handle and pull on the rope to make sure it's tight. Now the next step is run the rope through the hole here. And you want to get it through the hole here on the rotor. That's why it's important to make sure it's lined up before you remove the rope. Now make a quick knot at the end. Remove the screwdriver, hold the rotor, let the rope go back in slowly. Make sure it retracts properly like this. And that's all there is to it, guys. Now, if you're replacing the rope on a recoil that does not have holes through it, you can put a pair of vice grips to hold the rope rotor in place. Grab your rope. You can use a pick to get it out. Just snip it off, pull it out. And I'll do like I did in the other recoil, get the rope through the hole here. Now it doesn't matter which way you start the rope, you can go through here and out there. Just make sure you haven't put the handle at the end if you do it that way. I've already put the handle, so I'm going to put the rope in through this way. Tie your knot. Now let it go back slowly. Now in the third recoil rope replacement in this video, I'm showing you a recoil here where the rope has snapped, it's rolled back in, the spring is not tensioned anymore. Now if your rope isn't sticking out like it is now, you'll have to fish it out from the inside. You can use a sharp pick, get in there, get the end of the rope, get it started like this. And what you need to do is pull on the recoil until you're right at the end of the rope. And I'm going to just snip it at the end here. Now the rope is removed. Now what we need to do with this recoil here is make a hole like this so that we can get the rope in there to tighten up the spring. And what I use for that is a torch and an awl. I heat it up. And then what I do is I just go inside with the hot object, melt a hole. You want it big enough for the rope to sit in there. And make sure you've got good ventilation. You don't want to be breathing in that smoke. And you only need to melt the one side of the rail. You don't need to go right through. What I usually do with these recoils is I spin the rotor a few turns, maybe three or four times. And then you want to line up the hole on the rotor to the hole where the cord comes in. Grab the rope. You can lock the rotor again with your screwdriver. Now just tie a quick knot.
Now, since the rope won't go back in all the way, this is why I made the hole here. Just pull on the cord like that. You'll have to retrieve the rope. It's a bit tight in here. Once you get the rope out, pull it out a bit. Now, once you've pulled the rope out, you want to get it into the groove that you melted like this. Give yourself a bit of slack like that. And once it's in there properly, you want to turn counterclockwise. So I'm just going to do one turn now. Then you need to pull on the rope to get it out of there. And you want to check your tension. And that's good. So again, just to reiterate here, you melt a hole, get the cord in there, pull, and go counterclockwise until you feel the tension is proper for the cord. Now all these recoils here come off to come see snowblower engines. However, the same procedure will apply to most recoils on your outdoor equipment. And if you're fixing recoils from snowblowers, the rope should be approximately 67 inches long in all of them. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have yourselves a great day.